Hi everybody, welcome to Pure Pens TV. In today's video we're going to do a spotlight on one of the more popular brands that we've been selling on the website for a few years now. So it's Kueco. They're a German brand if you're not too familiar with them. Uh, they've got a really rich history so we thought you'd enjoy learning a little bit about them. It's a history that stretches back all the way to 1883 when two gentlemen by the names of Lusa and Esslen founded the Heidelberger Felderhalter Fabrik sorry on my pronunciation there and this translates pretty much into dip pen factory. It wasn't long before the factory was bought by Heinrich Koch and Rudolf Weber who produced products bearing the names Perkio, Amiga and Kueco. They also began importing fountain pens and gold nibs from Morton in New York. The first Kueco safety pen hit shop floors in 1908 and the Kueco Sport then in 1911. It was around this time they became well known for their gold spring manufactured nibs which offered a distinctive writing experience. Over the mid 20th century, bar in the wartime years, they continued to streamline their range and launched a hooded nib model in 1960. Their famous hallmark first appeared on the scene in around 1930. It divides the Kueco name into three, KA, WE and CO. This led many people to assume that it represented the surnames behind the brand, but we've checked with them and actually it relates to the first name and surname of one of the owners at the time. In the 90s, a refreshed sports design was launched, inspired by the original 1935 design. And after a short relationship with Diplomat, the company's gone on to build a presence in more than 50 countries today. So now we're going to have a look at Kueco's range as it stands today. Uh, you may recognise quite a few of the models by their distinctive octagonal barrel or cap design. Not every model has that, so we'll go through them one by one so you can see. It's quite a cool and useful feature as well actually because it prevents uh, the pens from rolling off the desk. The other characteristic of quite a few of the Kueco models is their size. As you can see here, they are quite distinctively pocket sized. Uh, when they're capped like this, they fit perfectly inside a shirt pocket, but they're designed that you can post them and then they become a more usable size even for people with bigger hands. Another quite impressive feature of the Kueco range is how many different colours are available. Quite a few brands stick to their signature colours or some more boring black, dark blue colours. Kueco is available in several different finishes. You've got raw brass, you've got steel, you've got aluminium, you've got some with carbon fibre inlays, you've got primary colours, so there really is a colour to suit everybody. So you may be thinking, how do they write? Well, regardless of whether you buy one of the entry-level Perkyo models or one of the more expensive AC Sports, they all provide the same sort of writing experience. The nibs don't have too much flex, but they're smooth and have a good ink flow. Quite often, as you may find with several different European brands of pens, the nibs tend to be a little bit broader and wetter than their Asian counterparts. So when looking at a Kueco, you may want to consider this. So the entry-level Kueco is the Perkyo. Here is one comes in quite a few different colour options. They're all multicoloured, they're all matte plastic, they're really durable. Uh, they're a great starter pen for people to see what the Kueco brand is about and also a really good children's pen. So the next pen up from the Perkyo is the Sport range. So this is the traditional classic look um, from the Kueco range with the faceted, uh, octagonal faceted lid. Uh, it comes in quite a few different finishes, so we've got an example of them here. So you've got the Skyline, which comes in quite a few different colours. Then you've got the Classic, which is pretty much the same as the Skyline, but just with a gold plated steel nib. Um, next up then you've got the Ice, which comes in quite a few different colours again, and this is this sort of transparent um, one with a clear barrel. And then the most recent addition to it are the Frosted versions. They're all named after, after fruits, so here is the Lime one. So moving up then from the Sport range, uh, which are made of plastic, you then have metal versions. So here is an aluminium Sport. Um, there's quite a few different finish options available in the metal, uh, the metal Sports. For example, steel here. There's then also a raw brass version. And they also do an aluminium, which has then got inlaid carbon fiber in this, which is the AC Sport. So all using the same um, theme and same sizing and design. Uh, and also the same nib, you've got different finishes available in the Sport range. So after the Sport model that we've just showed you, uh, which is probably the one that you'd think of as the iconic um, Kueco pen, there are some other models that are a little bit different, so we'll show you those now as well. So you've got the Student, which is this one here, 
and then the all-rounder which is pretty much the same as the student this is now just made from metal rather than from plastic so it's a little bit more weighty um, they've both got the same nib and then snuck in the middle here then you've got the Lilliput which is a miniature pocket pen made of brass and again has the same nib so there are two other Kaweco models that we've not got here in front of us now so we'll show you some still images whilst I talk firstly we've got the Elegance which is different from the other Kaweco models we've seen so far it's longer and slimmer with a smaller cap the most expensive Kaweco is the Elite this builds on the iconic Kaweco look with its octagonal barrel made from hand polished acrylic and it's made from a solid acrylic block it's a really good looking pen and deserves its spot amongst the higher end fountain pens on the market so if you ask us which Kueco we think is the best and which one you should go for, then the Perkyo obviously is a great entry level uh, pen and a great entry point into the brand. Uh, quite a few different colour options, really, really modern finishes too. Um, so that's a really good option. But for me, I think the Sport is the pen which sort of shows off the brand at its most historic and iconic. And the brass version is a really, really industrial looking, really, really robust good as an everyday carry so for me I think it would probably be one of the sport models one of the metal sport models like this that said obviously it's really subjective um, it's probably the plastic sports the most popular models and because they come in lots of different color options you know there is literally a pen to suit everybody so if you did like this video please do give us a thumbs up and also uh, you can subscribe to this channel to get notified when we upload other videos like this hope you found this video useful see you again soon